Hello and welcome back to a Springfield build. Uh, moving on to the Springfield church. Now there is a massive space here. Now guys, I'm just going to find a space and I'm just going to plant down eight blocks off the side of my building. So I'm going to place eight and then I'm going to run it this way, including the one on the end. Eight. Now as we turn it back around the way we was originally, just going to build off that one, including that one, it's going to be seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then building back off that one, it's going to be ten. And this wall we can build up to six levels if we want to get it done now. And we just fill all of this wall, there's no window in it. Now basically guys, this is just me mapping out and we're going to have to build in sections. We're going to have to do the front part first, making sure that we leave enough room for the, the top to go in and then build off of that top, uh, the whole front piece together we build off of that going backwards. So you see here I've placed one block on the inside and then we're going to go up two levels on top of uh, like two levels from the ground and then do three levels of window panes and then covering across the top with our top frame so there it goes in my second layer and then my top one will be the sixth layer leaving window space of three So like I say guys, it's going to be a big build. Um, I was trying to make it not too small, but not too big at the same time. But bearing in mind, you are trying to keep it as accurate as possible. So we're going to use our glass panes and we're going to do them for the three rows. Ignore what I'm doing. I was just having a thought. I thought, ah, oh, should I make them five? And I thought, nope, we stick to the original idea we get through, if it doesn't work at the end, then we can make our minor adjustments. So I'm going to leave a gap of four. And I'm going to start building again, making seven, about 35 long, 31 long altogether, sorry. So we go 31 long, we're going to do two wall there, and then we leave a gap of four, and then we do a row of five, bearing in mind that the windows won't be in until the third layer up. So we leave another one of one, two, three, four for our window to go in. Don't know what I was thinking there. Right, so we go two wall, and then we've got a gap for our four windows and then we'll go five wall four space of four for the windows five wall and then space of four for the windows and then finishing on our seven wall right there coming back to the door which we will make adjustments for in the end so basically what you should have is two on the end and then a space for your windows being four and then a brick wall for five and so on until you get down to your last one which is three windows in the front and after your third one you should have a wall that is seven long leading back to the door so sorry guys for not explaining that well enough I'm just purely uh, where I'm trying to do it this is the only way I could map it out and start getting the sizes right I've knocked it down three times and it just really is hard to give instructions for so we're just going to do our glass panes, as long as you're up on two levels, it'll be your third block up, where you start doing your window panes. Yet again, three, three in a row, three up, four in a row. So you're going to do a height of three and a length of four. Now running round I'm just going to put in my slabs which I'm using the orangey wood and the reason I'm using that is because um, I think you have like planters on the front of the church which we will do. 
but uh, obviously it's all about trying to keep as accurate as possible at the moment so we're just going to go piece by piece getting it in so now I'm going to start using some blocks I'm going to knock away a bit of the wall opening that gap up to six long And now on the inside I'm now going to start placing my orangey planks and the reason being that it might not actually end up being it may have to go up one more level on the top of the frame of the door um, this was just purely and that needs to be on the inside <laughs> just having a moment and this is all about now just really leaving a gap we place another one on the inside and this was me just trying to get some church feely doors so you can have some glass in between you've got your gap or two for the double doors and then the frame which is just on the inside of the church wall so it should look like uh, you should have a gap or two in the middle and then a gap of one on either side so you've got room for your uh, glass panes but I want to try and get in the stairs as well and the concrete sort of wall leading up to the doors so at the moment we're a bit stuck uh, we're going to have to do that at a later point so we're going to go over to our dark wood slab and I'm just literally knocking out these insides I'm going to try and keep them on the outside just to widen this gap for like the front balcony and I'm actually going to use my orange wood for that too so you can don't use your dark oak use your, your orange wood and as I come back to it, I'm going to use steps for the actual top. And the reason being is because I didn't like, I, I don't like to leave edges, not blatant edges. Um, so I, I like it all to tie in. Still keeping it accurate, but like with the window seals, I don't really like to have them. But at the same time, I don't like it to not have the colour that should be there. But I don't want to use a full block either, so it's like catch 22. So this is uh, my original plan, I was just going to do that and have that, uh, obviously not dark oak fencing, uh, follow suit with the colour. But uh, then I thought, actually, if I have stairs standing up the right way, it would meet the fence post, but at the same time it would start closing in the gap on the inside of the roof, which worked better for me. Uh, I felt it looked a lot nicer, and looking from a distance, you want it to look nice. So yeah, there you go, after a little gander, I was having a little look back here and I thought, I, you know what, we can do better with this. And I'm just going to knock off the front edge, and you don't want to do it like that, you want it facing upwards. So I'm going to place one on my fence post, and I'm going to have to look down at my stairs, and drag it across, and then I'm going to come on the outside of it. Which now means the fence posts are in one, but I, I'm not too bothered about that. Uh, we can always adjust them later on, ready for when we put in our like concrete rails. And I, I just think that looks a lot nicer, a lot cleaner for a balcony out the front. And obviously we will move our, our fence posts out, uh, but that can be done later for now. Uh, just more about trying to get that looking right. So now we're going to use our dark oak wood slab and from this front row I'm just going to drag it around and then from the third one I'm going to drag it all the way across because after the third one I only want to go one, two, then three and then I'm going to start thinking about putting in my, my actual tier that's got to go on top which is going to be 25 in length and then 11 in width so it's quite a big space and obviously I didn't want to come over the second window because I wanted to try and keep it as accurate as the real thing. So I'm just going to run this all the way across making it the three slabs. Now moving up I'm just going to drag this back another one, two, three, 
two, so that's three from that edge. Now four, and then I'm gonna miss the five, go on to the six. No, I did actually do it there. So after your third row, lining down that side of the building, we're now gonna start placing 25 sand blocks again. As you can see, I've actually stopped before the second window, keeping it in close. Now this row, including the block at the front, will be 11. Uh, 9 for windows and 1 just for the edges. So as long as you've got 9 there, and now we're just going to drag it all the way back. Now to meet to the other side. Now if everything's gone according to plan, now this tier should actually meet the outside of your small box on this side of the building. So I'm going to go ahead place my corner ones and then making sure that I've got the right spaces on the inside I've got to place one more to make it two that side then three for windows uh, three on the inside then three for windows then three for wall three for windows three for the wall and then making our way to the edge which I have two again so now we know that's all fine. We're now going to start dragging our slab back and making sure our walls are all in fit with each other. Now I'm not sure what actually happens on this side of the building. I can't notice any windows in there. But for now, I'm just going to drag my slab in back, making sure that it's going to meet my little small build off the side. Now if it's perfect it should meet it perfect, yep. And then we drag it back and then we know we've got to fill in where we left a gap here. Now for the other side, we're just going to drag it back, bearing in mind that we've then got to build the wall up underneath it. And we're just going to drag this one all the way back, marking our, our area for filling in with slab. And now the rest of it just needs to be filled in with slab. Now we know that all of our front is actually tying in and we can now work on this section until we come to the next part where we start working on the back sections really taking off a chunk of the build working out our dimensions ready to help us work out the next part of the build so guys I'll leave you with this um, I know after this we're going to build up the wall down the side where we've dragged our roof back now we know it's all fine and that's where I'm going to end the part for now uh, and I'm going to work on the top tier but apart from that guys I will be back shortly with the rest of the build uh, it will probably be a good couple of parts I'm going to try and keep the, the videos nice and short but um, with a build like this it can end up being a good few parts so anyway guys thanks for watching and I shall be back very shortly.